Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, the spiritual justice show, I'm Goddess Quita, you can call me Quita, either one would do. I answer to both. I answer to both you guys. I'm trying to decide which deck I'm going to use. Okay, let's just start off. Um, Spirit's telling me to do the angel numbers first right now. So, we're going to do the angel numbers first. <laughs> okay, that's what I forgot to do today. Hmm, I'll do that after because I want to I want to finish writing the meaning of each one of the angel numbers what they mean to me and then so I can read them off to you guys as I give them to you instead of just giving you the number but we'll work on that let's see what number we have first oh 609 1010 646 505 that says success achievement spiritual growth thinking um positive thinking affirmations and confidence I got that one written down 606 that has to do with affirmations too I think 607, thank you for following your intuition. Positive reinforcement. Congratulations. Yes. And 626, 626, angels are ready to support you in your every mood. And 523, which is a mastery number of change, because 5 is about change. You add the 2 plus the 3, that's a 5, that's change. And add those two fives together, that's a new beginning. <laughs> Okay, don't play with me with these numbers. I'm good at this. Yes, I love numbers. <laughs> I love numbers. Okay. Now, on to the next. Yeah, see? It's about ab abundance, uh, money, achievements, like victory, success. That's what I get with this reading here. Um... There may, may be some secrecy going on at the moment. Um, you may need to use your um, crown chakra or your uh, tap in the spirit to see what's going on around your abundance. Because I think it's not nothing secretive. It's just something, some stuff that you need to know to prepare for us to get yourself, yeah, to bring balance with your abundance. Spirit is saying, look at this, uh, your abundance, your career from a... Um, from a higher perspective that's what spirit is asking you to do uh yeah because there is some low vibrational energy within you that's keeping you from rising to this next level but it's here for you y'all you got to do is tap into it yeah um it may be around some heartbreak with some finances or with it nope this is with a per person this is with a person um that was the first message was about your money and success and then somebody might be heartbroken over you yeah they are they're feeling the lack of confidence and they're trying to go within to rejuvenate themselves but it's, it's not really working for them they can't focus yeah and they, they're they're longing for you is what i'm getting let me get my other cards out where they at where they at where are they where out thou come hither <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i'm in one of my little uh because I was studying history. So, yeah. Where's my other cards? Let me go get them off the table. They must be on the table. I'm in my bedroom. Yeah. Yep, that was on the table, you guys. I got them, though. Thank you for waiting for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, somebody said you're my everything. Somebody in there saying that you are mine. Oh, like, they ain't trying to share you. <laughs> Oh, um, so you could kill that. They saying kill all that noise with you want to be with somebody else because <laughs> you minds. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, somebody could be on their bed thinking about you. It's crazy because I'm. Well, it's not crazy. It's ironic because I'm in my room in my bed doing this reading and I, I pulled bed. So somebody might be in the bedroom or somebody might be laying in bed thinking about you or. 
Yeah, somebody's in bed reminiscing about you or they're daydreaming. Yeah, and I got lying down right next to bed. So somebody's literally in bed lying down thinking about you. So they're manifesting you whether they, they know it or not. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um. I got free to go. Free to go. Leave. Um. Let's see what that's about. Standing on that ish. Same page. Okay, what I'm picking up, if we're not on the same page and you're free to go, I'm not going to like, th I like this person's energy. They're not going to sit here and chase you and they don't want you chasing them. They want to be on this, us to be on the same page. They want, well, I said us. They want you, this person want to be on the same page with you. They want you to communicate. They love to communicate. They love, if we, they said if we have issues, I want us to be happy. I want us to be able to resolve them. Um, they don't want to go to bed um, angry. I hate, he, I'm hearing some, a man say, I hate when you go to sleep angry. I don't like when you go to sleep angry. <laughs> He said, I'll kiss you because I got off with your head. But as soon as I got this car, he said, here, I'll kiss you in your forehead. Even when I'm mad at you, I'm still happy with you. That's deep. <laughs> um, moon magic. So somebody may be doing some moon magic to manifest you. Yeah, and I got happy again. Did I put it back? Yeah, I put it back in the deck, but I got it came out again. So somebody just want to be happy with you. And they do want to surprise you. Um, then they said, do we have a deal? Like, if I come towards you, I think this is what they're thinking in their mind. If I come towards you, this is what they, they manifest. Thank you, spirit. This is the what somebody is manifesting you. And this is what they're telling the universe that they want from you. They want to be on the same page. Even if I'm, even if, if, if they're mad at you or you're mad at, at them, they still want to be kissed in their forehead. Is what I'm picking up here. So if we have any issues, they're telling the universe how they they want you to interact with them. What's their love language? This is such a beautiful read. Um, their finances may not all be all the way up to par, or it may, um, but I feel like they have some more investments and finances to go. But um, besides finances, they're doing moon magic to um, with their love language manifesting someone with their love language. They want to be on the same page. They want to always be able to communicate and they want you to stand on that. They want to have a deal. They're asking it, telling the universe that we have a deal. This is the deal I want. <laughs> and they're laying down in their bed manifesting this. This is what they're manifesting with their thoughts. This is what they want from you. <laughs> this is so cute. I love picking up on stuff like this because they fell in love with you. I hear I didn't even... You didn't even touch me, and I didn't even touch you, and I fell in love with you. Kiss me, or or else I hurt. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is so cute. And I got a lifetime, a lifetime, a lifetime, baby. They said they don't never want to be away from you, and I want everything that's good for us. Oh, this person is really laying down, manifesting you. <laughs> Cannot resist you. Ooh, I love you so much. Yes. Um. Tell me why you hurt, cause I want to listen. <laughs> this person is such a romantic. Um, this person might be bisexual too, or they want somebody that's bisexual, or you are bisexual. Take it how I resonate, you guys. I can get very specific message, but I didn't ask for that here because you know what you, you know what I mean? It be getting too specific and you all need to be like hitting me up for personals or something. Um, they just want to be at peace with you. Um, here and now, they're longing for you. They got a hundred reasons, a thousand reasons why. Child, this person is... <laughs> They are really manifesting you. Let's get some. Let's go to the other day, cause baby, I can't. But I kind of can. No, I really, really can with this. I really can. <laughs> yeah, this person is truly a romantic. Um, and this person is monogamous, cause bluebirds similar. They're they're very monogamous, and wherever the one mate go, the other follows. See, the men usually follow the woman and these particular relationships um yeah so yeah <laughs> somebody is 
uh, manifesting a high level soulmate and that don't necessarily have to be a twin flame because your twin flame could choose not to grow and not be a high level soulmate but still be your twin flame get that let's get that understood now um, this could be somebody that's on your same wavelength or it could be your twin flame that chose to heal and elevate and they want to be in this monogamous relationship and they want to follow you wherever you go boo um let's see yeah um it's a lot of water in this uh dolphin car and dolphins are great lovers too they're very they're very great communicators too so this person is going to be a great communicator this person could be an aries leo a sagittarius or a cancer or a pisces is what i'm picking up uh-huh and they're great at um I won't say great at blending in, but they're great at, uh, at communicating and talking things to, through, and that's why I was looking for the word compromise. They're great at compromising. They're really good at this. It's a skill they learned um, from previous relationships. They built this skill up. And they're not, because the crab is here, they know how to walk sideways, forwards, backwards. I feel like this person is a vers uh, versatile person. And it doesn't take much to please this person. Yeah. I got the Eight of Pentacles here. This person worked hard and planted seeds. This person planted seeds everywhere. That's what I'm saying. This person planted seeds in eight different areas. In eight different places is what I'm picking up. And now they they just longer for love. And, and, and their seeds, they're hiding their seeds. They're not um, showing their full hand. But this person is a, uh, it might be a um, Leo or Aries. I'm picking up here because this person has very um, dominant energy. This person is very strong, a little bullheaded at times, but a little stubborn. This ain't nothing to hurt nobody, as long as you're not too stubborn. But this person, it already showed me that this person have great um, compromise and skill. But um, when I say they're strong, like they're strong in the character who they are. They, they're not. You know how you get with somebody and one minute they want to do this and the next minute they this way and the next minute they this way. When this person grow, it's like how a tree grows strategic, like the straight up and is very rooted. This this person is very rooted and grounded and um they know themselves very well. Yeah, this person likes to celebrate. They may like they may have this beautiful uh how can I put it, vibrant spirit, like they like the not necessarily party, but when you when they step on the scene, like they, they energy is like big, like uh, uh. And, and if a party is the party don't start to this person get the best believe this person turns off when they party, and this person can be a hermit too. So I, I what I'm getting is this person is a extrovert, um, introvert, in uh, extrovert, and um, how can I say that? What word am I looking for? An invert and an extrovert, meaning that um, they 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 pick, they do both. Like um, they don't have to party all the time. They know how to be alone with themselves. So if they go out, it's because they want to have fun. They want to get out that hermit mode. They know how to do both. So this person is very very mature. This person is very analytical too. This person can be carefree at times, so it can confuse you with this person. But this is this person is um very um. How can I say they're they're not they know themselves to a, a level of a uh, depth that most people don't. Uh, that's a lot like me too, but <laughs> I'm not. I know this is not for me. Um, but this person is um this person is has met themselves almost as whole as they can meet themselves. They're, this person is very healed. This is high vibrational energy here. Yeah, they're a magician. Um, yeah, because I get the magician card here. And not only that, this magician card have two snakes. Meaning they have loved their demons. And not love as in partake in and let them demons control them. Mean they healed. They they know how to um to to calm themselves. They know how to um, they do what who they are emotionally. They're met themselves. This person <laughs> has done a lot of inner work and out of work. Um this person is definitely a romantic 
and they look at it, their partner as just that a partner not somebody that has to submit or something like that they look at that the, if they're in an intimate relationship with somebody they look at you as their equal not less than because they have more money in you or not less than because they're no, no more knowledgeable than you they're trying to get with somebody that's on their level if not on their level a little bit above their level yep the elephant came out this person is i'm picking up aries energy heavy and not only am i picking up aries it could be a leo here or a gemini but um this person mine because this elephant mine is like um it it may seem small but in the inside they mine they 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 have mountains in there they have things like big ideas and um how can i put this they're very spiritual, even if they don't act like it. This person may be a street person or come from the streets, and they have that persona. But when you sit down and have a conversation with them, you may like, dang, this person is really spiritual. Dang, this person, no. Okay. This person is very stable. Okay. And then you'll see the multifaceted person that this this person, um, their personality that they have. They're very grounded and solid is what I'm picking up here. And they stand on they stand on any ish that they do. They say I stand on that. Mm-hmm. So they don't like you here, you can best believe that they don't like you. <laughs> if they love you, you can best believe that they truly love you. What they they word is bond is basically what I'm trying to say here. So they're very honest. And they're very enlightened to believe it believe it or not. This is male energy, this masculine energy all day. They're very enlightened. And this person want equal give and take. They want reciprocated energy. <sighs> yeah. This person may like to talk. But about high level stuff. About spiritual stuff. About high converse, uh You know how most people just have small talk. I don't think this person likes small talk. Is what I'm trying to. Is what I'm picking up here. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't think. They, it's 12, 12 on the clock you guys. Yeah, and they can come off as cold too. If you if you doing all that small talk, they 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 may cut the, the cut the conversation quick. They may cut it off really quick, and you be like, "Dang, this person rude." But they they don't want to sit down and have small talk with you. They might do it for five minutes, kiki ha ha, and then after that, they see you. you they be basically filling you out to see if you what you about. And once they see that you you can't have an in depth conversation, then they leave you alone. They move on. This person is really searching for a divine counterpart beautiful energy um um whoever i'm reading for it i hope you guys help this help you and that you will succeed and that keep going and go but when it comes to your finances you need to go in and dig a little deeper there's more money there there's more ideas and creativity there's more things that you can do and spirit say you need to um um put more protection around your your finances or something is what i'm picking up but um beautiful read beautiful read uh, thank you for tuning in. Good night.